Hi, thanks for joining today's card lesson. In today's exercise, we model a synchronous belt. We explore the use of the rectangular pattern command and its possibilities to create this model. If you would have any comments, questions, contributions, or concerns, you can drop them down in the comment section below. I would respond to them as soon as possible. Let's begin with today's exercise. Let's get our worksheet new up here. This is going to be a part and we will be working in millimeters. So let's select the standard millimeter IPT template under the part, create 2D and 3D object and create. I have the presentation sheet template. So let me go into tools, location options. And under the color tab, let me choose the light and apply. If you have the light already, that is fine. You can skip this step. Now let's go back into the 3D model tab. We begin with a 2D sketch and so we pick that command and work on the XY plane. Now I'm going to pick the line command. Let me draw a line here. The length of this line is 600. I'll type that in the dynamic input box and press enter. You can right click and then OK. Let's double click to get our work in focus. I'm going to dimension the distance between this point and the line I just drew as 150. Let me enter that and then apply the vertical constraint between the midpoint of this line and the origin. You can right click and then OK, double click your scroll mouse button. Now let me pick the line command again. Let's draw a line here. I'd want to use this line as my reference line, but let me see. The line is moving and so I will put the coincident constraint between the middle point of this line and the origin. And then I would select the line and make it constructional. Now I want to mirror this line on the opposite side. And so the mirror command, the line I want to mirror is going to be this line. And then the mirror line, which is the line it should go across, is going to be this constructional line. I'll select that, apply, and then done. Now let's go ahead and pick the arc command. Pick the first point of the arc here. We'll pick the second point and we'll give that a radius of 150. Let's enter that. We'll do same on the opposite side. 150. And we would enter that. You can right click and then OK. That is it for this sketch. Let's go ahead and finish it. You can double click the scroll mouse button. Next, we want to put a point. So select the point command under the work features at this point where the arc begins. And so right here is going to be fine. We would want to next create a rectangular pattern of this point along this app. Let's do that with the rectangular pattern command. The feature we want to pattern is going to be the point we placed into our select that. The direction we want it to go across or along, we can select our curve. We want 200 of those points and we want to define the distance between them with the spacing. And so you should space the 200 points along the curve until we select the curve length. Let's open this up for more options because our points are moving away from our sketch. For the start, I want the point to begin at the first point and so I'll select that. And the compute should be identical. The orientation, I think is fine. We can even choose direction one to be the orientation. Everything is fine, the preview looks good. Let's go ahead and okay. There we have our point. Now let's draw the teeth. Before we do that, let's turn on the visibility of the sketch. And so just click on it here in the model browser, right click and choose the option visibility. Now let's pick the plane to work on. And so it's going to be a 2D sketch. We can zoom in and pick the XY plane. Let's zoom in again. And let's pick the point where our curve ended. And so this point is where we'll begin to draw. Let's drop down the rectangle options, pick the two point center rectangle. Where is that point? Um, I think we have to project the points before and so right click, okay. Let's project the geometry, which is going to be a point. And so there it is here. Now we can pick the rectangle command and draw a rectangle from that point. We will dimension it. And so the width here is 10. Then we'll have the height here as 20. Let's enter that. 
I'll zoom in a little. Okay, now we pick the line command. Let's draw a line from this point. And we want to end here. We'll also draw a horizontal line and then from this point also. Let's connect back here and we can close up that. Let's pick the dimension command. The angle between these two lines is 20. Also between this and that is 20. The sketch is fully constrained. Let's finish it. Let's double click our scroll mouse button. Now we would extrude the extrude command. Let's extrude this very profile and so make sure you are selecting just that, this very one. Let's specify the distance of this extrusion as 100. We want the direction to be symmetric. The preview looks fine and so we go ahead and OK. Let's put a fillet, 2mm fillet is fine to this edge and this very edge. We can OK. Let me get the isometric view. All right, now we want to pattern this feature we just did here along these points. Let's pick the rectangular pattern command again. The feature we can select from the model browser, which is going to be the extrusion one, and the fillet. Both of them is what we want to create the rectangular pattern of. Right, now the direction we can pick our arc. We want 200 of them just like the points. It says the pattern will result in large number of occurrences. That's okay. Let's define the spacing with the curve length. We'll open this up for more options. For the direction one, we want to begin at that point. And so let's locate it. There we are. Let me even get the front view for now. Now let's see how this is behaving. Let's pick the orientation to correct that. That is going to be the direction so that it moves along the arc. We can go back identical. This is how it's going to look very identical. But if we want it to move in the direction one, then we go ahead and pick that. All right. Now everything looks fine. Let's go ahead and OK. Right. That has been neatly done. Let me get the isometric view. Awesome. Okay. Let's create the last feature. We'll pick the 2D sketch command and pick the XY plane. Now, what we want to do is to project some geometries onto that plane. And so let's see. We want to project um, this line, also this arc. All right. Let me turn this around. We also want to project this line. And then finally, this arc. Okay, let's get the front view. And we want to offset what we projected to a distance of 7.5. Let's enter that. Okay, we can finish it. And we want to extrude now. And so the extrude command, let's select that profile here, which is going to be this very one. I would want to specify the distance of 110. So we have a little bit of hang. 110, sorry. This is what I am talking about. We have a little bit of space here. Let me, okay, since the preview looks fine. Now I'm going to turn off the visibility of the sketch. Also, let's turn off the visibility of the work points. And our sketch is ready, we'll do our basic rendering. And so on the view, the visual style should be shaded with edges. We would add some shadows, reflections, and then a ground plane if you want. Let's even change the lightning effect to two lights. And let me do a photo booth. Okay, and I'm going to change the appearance from the default appearance to snow. Just type S to move to the S column and pick snow. There we have it. All right. OK, 
Okay, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you get some value out of this. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly consider doing that. Also, do want to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or contributions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. I would respond to them as soon as possible. Don't forget to share this with your card friends and see. I'll see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.